guys, welcome to my channel. Today I shall be making a pineapple and carrot loaf cake uh, straight from Tesco's online. I'll put the information in the description below. This is completely my take on the whole recipe. So literally, it's not gonna be to the T, but it's to how I would do it. So, so far I've already pre-measured the ingredients, the dry ones. So 175 grams of self-raising flour, one teaspoon of carbonated soda, uh, one teaspoon of salt. I haven't put uh, cinnamon in it because nobody in my family likes it. And you are supposed to put in, I think it's like 150 grams of brown sugar, but I'm not that high fructose kind of girl. So I use 50 grams of sugar because the rest of it will be coming from the pineapple. So now we've got fresh pineapple ready to blitz. you've blitzed it down you want it to be not like a puree you just want it all smooshed like that and then I've got my sieve and just let it drain so all this juice that's at the bottom we'll use later for the passion fruit drizzle. Large. Um, also, I'm not sure if I said about the walnuts. Uh, it says about 100 grams or something stupid like that, but I use 200 grams of walnuts because I'm a bit of a nutty kind of girl, so why not? Next stuff, we need 150 grams of carrot. As we can see here in the shade orange, of course. Be fine. Do you want to slide my DMs? So that's the carrot all grated up. I've just literally chucked it in with the rest of the walnuts. I'm not a chef by the way, I just, I'm too lazy to get another bowl out. So. And then I've measured out 150 ml of vegetable oil, two eggs and vanilla essence. Again, I've just chucked it all in there, all ready to go. And then, just gonna Mix all that up, throw half the contents everywhere. And then don't make the same mistake that I've done before using your whisk in to do the actual battery thing because it all gets stuck together. You know, you've got time for it. Obviously, you don't have to follow how I've done this because none of this is going to make sense to you, but you can follow the recipe online. <laughs> so it's all up to this lovely doughy sort of consistency. Chuck the carrot and walnut in. Mix it all up. What does that sound like? Hee hee hee! So obviously just keep mixing all around until it's completely combined. And then find your loaf tin that you want to use and get ready to put it in the oven. So 
So now your batter is fully mixed and looking like full on vom. Trust me, it is nice. You just pour it into your loaf tin. Oh, <laughs> it looks like boy! Uh, I think I need an adult. I'll just get it all in. Now, it says like that you're supposed to keep it in the oven, I think it's like an hour or something like that, I can't remember. Ah, oh, gas mark for 180 Celsius, 160 Celsius. Uh, da -da -da -da. Where is it? Ah, that's it. Spoon mixture into a tin and bake for an hour. I'm going to tell you now, it takes a lot longer than an hour if you put it on the four. I personally put on like a five or a six, otherwise it just doesn't cook properly at all. It just goes, Pugh. it's supposed to be moist, but it's not supposed to give you salmonella. So. So whilst the loaf is in the oven, I am preparing the drizzle, which is the pineapple juice, which we got from the pineapple that we sort of mushed up earlier. It says to use one passion fruit, but I use two because I love the passion fruit. It's my favourite. Come get a listen to this. It's like ASMR. Hello, what are you doing? I needed an adult and I couldn't read. This is how us short people get stuff. So now we're going to go onto the drizzle. Now that I've finally got my icing sugar. To be honest, I do all this by eye. It depends how thick you really want your drizzle to be. I don't like it to be a nice and like, thick. I'm going to throw everything everywhere as I can. Now, what I do now with the pineapple juice and the passion fruit that we mixed up a little while ago, I'm just going to drain some of it in because you don't necessarily want all the seeds to go in there. Drizzle that in. And just keep mixing. So now that the cake has been cooked and it's now time for the drizzle, the best part. Okay guys, I hope these... <laughs>